So this next suck back is if I'm trying to run a half and this guy wings down on that half. So same thing. I like to start up always with the spiral ride. So I'm coming here, I'll throw the half in and I'll fake like I'm running it right here. This guy's gonna react by trying to wing down with this right shoulder. And as I feel him winging down, I'm switching from this half to the shoulder because I get a little more pull. I can help pull this guy's body through. From here, same thing. I want this knee in front of his, his uh, right leg right here. And I'm using that guy's momentum as he's winging down to roll him through. And about right here, when I'm halfway through, I'm taking this right leg and I'm trying to throw this, this right leg in. And same thing, I'm trying to kick this heel to my butt so this guy can't turn his hips over. From here, this right hand is gonna slide up to the elbow. I'm gonna hold him here, get my back points. And another thing is, I always like to go um, double unders, because if this guy tries to turn back into me this way, I have at least an anchor to help hook his uh, chest and help me recover, get back on top. So one more time, going spiral ride. So I'm bumping him forward, getting all those weight, that weight on his hands. I'm gonna throw this half in right here. This guy's winging down. I'm switching from this half to his shoulder because I get a little more pull right here. And as I'm rolling him through, about halfway, I'm starting to throw this right leg over, hook it in. And then from here, I like to slide off to this elbow because it's a little harder for this guy to wing down right here. At, at his elbow, it's his weakest point, so he's not gonna have a lot of power right here. And then from here, hold him here, get my four count, and then you can transition like before. High leg back, sink the half in, look for the fall.